it's been difficult. Going on more than two weeks without power. 15 days is a little long. Metro homeowners feeling anxious about when the lights will be cut back on. They say it's gonna be Friday, they have Friday, then they say it's gonna be Sunday. And we're gonna keep pressing until everyone's back on. State Representative Mickey Dollins tells me a number of his constituents still in the dark. He says over the past few weeks, he's been trying to understand why. I was talking to some line crews from Iowa and I asked their opinion of our grid infrastructure, the strength of it, and they did not have nice things to say. They said it's outdated, the poles are old, it needs a lot of maintenance. Now he's teaming up with state representatives Cindy Munson and Colin Walkie to call on more transparency from OG&E and figure out what they can do to make sure this doesn't happen again. I think that we need to study OG&E's past disasters uh, going all the way back to two decades and compare the mitigation that they have performed to other states or utility companies that serve a similar population. That way we can get a real idea of how old the infrastructure is and what improvements need to be made. He says the state should be investing in new infrastructure sooner than later. We need to prepare Oklahoma for more extreme weather and investing in it now is gonna save us a lot more in the future. Paris Jones, KOCO 5 News. <laughs>